years since the Ravens won their first Super Bowl, and now they're looking to take title number two. Complete coverage continues with Jessica Cartaglia, live in New Orleans, with more on how players from the 2000 championship feel about this year's team. Jess? Well, Denise, a former Raven at Matt Stover went to college here at Louisiana Tech, and today he sat down with our own Adam May, talking about his predictions for the Super Bowl and what he's been up to since his retirement. What are your thoughts here as the Ravens get ready to head to the Super Bowl? It's going to be an exciting game, Adam. Uh, when I look at this game, the matchups are incredible. Matt Stover you know, is one of the most loved former Ravens. Play. Matt Stover to attempt a 47-yard field goal. He kicked two field goals in Super Bowl 35, helping seal the team's victory. Is the pressure different during a Super Bowl game? That's always asked. Yes, <laughs> it is different. Uh, but what you do to minimize the, the pressure is you prepare the same. You know you're on a world stage. The obvious is the obvious. So what you have to do as a player is depend on the guys next to you, that they feel the same way you do, mm -hmm. and go out there as a band of brothers like they have been doing all year and take care of business. After 13 successful seasons with the Ravens, Stover was not resigned in a shocking move in 2008, but he decided to stay in Baltimore anyway. One of the things I hear about you all the time, people think it's cool. They see you at Target. They see you just being a dad at the yep. park. You saw me at a, I, at a restaurant. I saw you at a restaurant. <laughs> you're, you're everywhere. You're Mr. Baltimore. You're just well, I'm a dad. Guy. I'm a dad, and uh, I'm a husband first, and uh, th that's always been my priority list. Stover's also a big believer in giving back, so it's no surprise he reached recently started the Players Philanthropy Fund, helping other players be charitable. So many players out there tend to misuse the monies, don't gift their monies properly, so what we do, we vet all the people whom they're giving their money to, whether it's a charity or another cause, and then what we do is we make sure that those monies are given properly. Ed Reed, one of the first to join, a close friend who doesn't have one of these yet. Show me the ring. Yeah, we got the ring here today. <laughs> this is what it's about. We gotta go get another one. And Stover thinks we will. Adam May, WJZ Eyewitness News. And he certainly would know, and of course all of us think exactly the same.